Okay, so right now the recording just started. And again, welcome everyone to the second class. So today we're going to be talking uh, about some techniques, right? That are gonna help us to take notes, okay? When you are listening to somebody giving a speech or probably you are in a class or probably, uh, well, in a video conference like this one, and you need to take notes, those techniques that we are going to learn today are going to be very, very useful for us, okay? So, um, well, the unit is the same, number one, uh, developing writing skills is our goal, right? And here's the topic for today, writing technique, note-taking. Do you know what is note-taking? For everybody, do you know what is note-taking? Mm -hmm. You can tell me what's no um, taking. Yep. I think that is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Continue. I think that is a method of technique that is, that is important because we use them in order to better understand what we are learning. That's a very good answer. Thanks a lot for your participation. Yeah, as a technique. You are totally right. You're totally right. Somebody else who has an idea about note taking? Somebody else in here with an idea about note taking, guys? Yep. Yeah, um, it is like write the most important information about something that we are listening to or watching. Very good, right? The most important information said uh, Jose, right? Okay, yep. so it's about writing the most important information about what we're listening to, he said. So, and that's right, that's totally right. That is no taking, okay? So we take notes because we want to, uh, we want to have the most important information about what we're listening to. That's totally right. Okay, but now let me just something here. Okay. And this is the course goal is the same, right? Because this is the goal that we have for the whole course. So we're going to just skip this slide, okay? We're going to the next one. Yeah, on the <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to the next slide. And here are the contents. In the contents, uh, we have the four, we have four methods for note taken. The outlining method, the mapping method, the corner method and the charting method, okay? Those are the four methods that we're going to be discussing or talking about today. And here I have a question. Are you taking notes correctly? What do you think? Uh, for example, let me just check here. Um, Ileana, are you taking notes correctly? Yes or no? What do you think? Eliana, you there? Oh, let me just do something here. Uh, Ivelise, are you there? Ivelise Gutierrez. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, what do you think, Ivelise? Are you taking notes correctly? Mm, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. I just... Uh -huh. uh, at the time I, in, in which I, I take notes, I only write sentences ab about the topic that someone else are, is explaining. Oh, so you start writing sentences about the topic. That is good. And that is a technique as well. Okay. I only have four techniques here for you in this class, but there are more. Okay. I want you to know that. 
there are more there are more than x okay these four i consider are like the most effective techniques for taking notes but it doesn't mean that there are only four there are more than x a lot of them okay let's see here um julissa aguilar are you taking notes correctly Julissa? Don't be shy, people. Don't be afraid. Participate, okay? Julissa? You there? Hi. Hi. Yes, nice listening to you. Yeah, can you tell us if you are taking notes correctly? Yes or no? Um, yes, of course, because um, the last semester I learned how to take notes in a way, so uh -huh. um, it help help us to to remember the any topic. Um, yeah. Ah, yeah. Well, that's great, Julissa. Um. Can you just explain us a little bit about your note-taking method, Lisa? What's your note-taking method? Just with your own words. Oh, Julissa just left. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, Marta. Can you just explain us a little bit about your note-taking method? Marta? Waiting for you. <laughs> Don't be shy, please. Try to speak. If you make mistakes while speaking, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you participate. Mm -hmm. Marta? Are you taking notes correctly? Well, I'm going to give the chance to a volunteer because the ones that I'm calling by their names, they don't want to participate. So a volunteer, probably. Volunteers? Well, in my case, sometimes what I do is to select the information information that I consider to be the most important and write down what I understand in my own words. I think that that is my method. Very good, Lilibet. I really like it. So you select the most important things and you write them down. Excellent. Thanks for your participation as well. Okay, so we're going to keep on. Let's see here. Okay, now we have here the tips, okay? I have some tips for you. Can you, let's see here. Um, Lourdes, can you help us read these tips? Lourdes Brand? Can you help us read the tips? Well, I'm gonna ask Melissa to do it. Melissa, can you help us? Melissa, are you there? Come on, guys. Come on, participate, please. Wilber, are you there? Wilber Urias, are you there? Yes. May I look? Oh, yeah, Xiomara, please go ahead. Avoid high sugar snacks, avoid high salt snacks. Avoid consuming too much coffee. 
have a good mood and attitude. Very good. Thank you very much, Xiomara, for your help. Now, guys, let me ask you something. Why do you think that avoiding high sugar snacks, avoiding high salt snacks, and avoiding consuming too much coffee will help us take notes? Why? Can somebody give me an idea? Uh huh. If you have an idea, please share the idea with us. Why is that gonna help us taking notes? Why? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna tell you, okay? I'm gonna tell you. What happens is that if you eat or if you consume too much sugar as well as salt, right? Um, your your system right and your body do you know when the kids ju they just eat a lot of candies they are very hyperactive so the same happened to us right if you consume too much sugar you are not going to be able to focus on what the presenter or the teacher is saying right that uh, interferes with concentration. Consuming too much sugar or salt interferes with concentration. So do not do it, right? As well, if you consume too much coffee, right? If you consume too much coffee, you are not going to be able to concentrate because of the caffeine, okay? Now, number four, it says, have a good mood and attitude. Why do you think that having a good mood and attitude is going to help you taking notes? Why? Give me an idea, please. A volunteer. Volunteers? Yes? Enrique Cortez? May I? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I think that uh, I think that if we don't uh, consume too much sugar, uh, I think that our brain will be healthy and in a good condition to to mm -hmm. to save more information, and in that way we would uh, we would be able to to remember that information in our brain and write it down as we remember yes. it that is totally right thank you very much for your participation enrique uh your brain is going to be healthy that's right so you are going to be able to concentrate that's totally right let's see here uh we are 25 right now in the conference Nicole Morales, are you there? Can you help me out with the point number four, Nicole? Have a good mood and attitude. Why is that important uh, in order to concentrate when taking notes? Nicole? Or Oscar Zavala, maybe? Nicole or Oscar? Come on, guys. Uh huh. Listen, I'm 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 gonna say something right now. Listen, okay. I want the I want the class to be very uh, interactive, right? So not just me speaking. I want you to speak as well, but it won't work if you are shy, right? That's why I ask you, I ask you to participate. If you participate, you are going to concentrate. If you concentrate, you are going to learn more, okay? So please try to participate, don't be shy. Oscar, you there? Hi, teacher. Hi, mister. Can you help me out with point number four? 
have a good mood and attitude? Why do you think having a good mood and having a good attitude is important in order to concentrate? Maybe I think it is because if you are angry or mad about something, you mm. will be not able to focus on what, what you see or what you are listening. Mm -hmm. And in order to take note, this is very important. That is right. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, what happens is, you know, when we as students, we have a bad mood or a bad attitude, maybe the teacher is in front of us, the teacher is explaining us something, but what happens is that if we are saying, oh, this is boring, you know, this is boring. Um, I want this to end just right now. I want to go out of this class. I want to do something else, right? So that's having a bad attitude. Now, if you are not enjoying what you are listening to, if you are not concentrating, I mean, you won't learn. And if you are not concentrating, you are not going to be able to take notes. That's the situation. Right, that's the situation. Now let's move on to the to the next step here. And I have this: the best note-taking methods. Okay, the best note-taking methods. As I told you before, I have four here, but there are more. Okay, there are more than four. Now number one. Two, three, and four. Can you help me out read this, please? Uh, Celaya. Celaya, can you help me out read? Yep. Yes. Um, the best note taking methods. Uh -huh. Number one, the outlining method. Mm -hmm. Two, the mapping method. Three, the corner method. And number four, the charting method. Very good. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Celaya. Okay, now we have the four best note-taking methods in here. Outlining, mapping, corner, and charting, okay? Now we're going to talk a little bit about each of them. Now the outlining methods. Anthony, can you help us read this, please, Anthony? Anthony, come on. <laughs> Where are you? Show up and tell us. <laughs> uh huh. Marta, Melissa, are you there? Hey, hello, Lee. Yeah, hello, mister. Um, yeah. Right now. Uh I have problem with my with my internet, but I, I I can't read. Okay, thank you very much, Anthony. Go ahead, please. The planning method um number one, the information which is most general begins at the left, which is more a specific group of facts, independent with special to the right. Two. The relationships between the different parts are carried out throughout independent. Three, number three. No numbers, letters, or Roman numerals are needed. Excellent. Um, I really like it, Anthony. Very good pronunciation. Okay, okay. so what Anthony was reading, I'm going to say it in other words, okay? I'm just going to try to explain you this. If you take a look here in the other side, in the right side, it says body language, right? It says body language. I'm gonna move this right here. It says body language. And then we have movement. Then we have number one, a strike for natural movement and so on, right? That's what we have there. Now, 
The outlining method consists in taking notes, dividing the information into categories, okay? Into categories. For example, when we say here, body language is the main topic. So that is the first category, okay? That is the principal category, the main category. Now, inside body language, we are going to talk about movement, facial expressions, gestures, posture, okay? So those are the second category, okay? They are in second place. Now, here we have a strive for natural movement, number two, control distracting mannerisms, number three, develop natural style, and so on. So those are the third category. And if you take a look here, right, we are talking about indenting, right? Indenting. Now that's indentation, indentation. So what is indentation, right? Indentation is this. If you take a look here, we have body language. Now movement, it's a little bit more at the right. And the third category, like a strike for natural, control distracting, develop natural, there are even more at the right. So that's indenting, okay? That's indenting. Moving to the right making categories. This is an example. The one that I'm showing you here is an example of the outlining method, okay? This is an example of the outlining method. Now, we're going to be talking about, uh, let me just take a look here. We're gonna be talking about, about the method advantages, disadvantages, and when to use that method, okay? So that's what we're going to be talking about just right now. Okay, here we're going to talk a little bit about the method, okay? And for that, I need Angela, Angela Mejia to help me out with this slide. Please, Angela. Angela or a volunteer. Uh huh. May I? Yeah, sure, Mister. Thank you. Okay, metals. Listening and then writing points in organized pattern based on a space indentation. Indentation. your points. Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay. Place, place major points uh, farthest to the left. It then each more specific point to the right. Level of importance will be indicated by distance away from the major point. Mm -hmm. Indention can be as simple as or as complex as leveling. The indention with Roman numerals or decimals mm -hmm. um, making are not necessary as a space relationship will indicate a major minor point. Very good, Gabo. I like it. Excellent. Okay. What Gao was saying is that we are going to select that, including major and minor points. Major and minor points. That's what I was saying before, okay? That's what I was saying before. Major and my, and, uh, pardon, major and minor points. So what happened? Do you know people, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question right now, what is indentation or indention? Uh-huh. Do you know what is that? Uh-huh. 
indentation is this, right? So let's imagine that this is a text that I'm writing just right now, right? Then this is the, the topic, right? And then I'm going to add a category inside that topic. So I'm going to write it to the right, a little bit to the right. So that's indentation, okay? Then I'm going to add something else that is going to be inside this second category. So that's indentation, writing to the right. That's indentation, as in the example that I showed you. Now let's see here, we're going to move on. Okay. Now, which are the advantages of this method? Which are the advantages? It says, well organized system if don't write, right? Well organized system if don't write. So if we do it properly, we are going to have the information organized. Okay, everything is going to be organized. Now the outlining records content as well as relationship. So we are going to have all the information related, right? So this is related to this and to this and to this and so on. Also, it also reduces editing and is easy to review by turning main points into questions. Now, so we have the main points for the principal points, the secondary points, the tertiary points, and so on, right? Now, which are the disadvantages? Disadvantages require more thought in class for accurate organization. So one of the disadvantages is that if you are going to use this method, so you have to think a lot, okay? You have to think a lot because you are going to be organizing the information in a very, very organized way, okay? Now, it says this system cannot be used if the lecturer is too fast. So it's the speaker, it means the person who is talking and giving the speech, is talking too fast, right? It's talking too fast. So you are not going to be able to use this method. Why? Because you need to analyze everything. You need to think about that. So those are the disadvantages. Now, when are we going to be using this method? It says the outlining format can be used, right? The outlining format can be used if the lecturer is presented in an outline organization, right? This, ma this may be either deductive, regular outline, or inductive, reverse outline, where minor points start building to major points, okay? So it can be this way. It can be that you start from major points to minor points, or you can start from minor points to major points. It can be either way, okay? This format is going to be used when there is enough time to the lecture, in the lecture to think about and make organization decisions when they are needed, right? So, yeah, so if you have time to think and, and organize the ideas, it's a good idea to use this method, okay? Let's see. And well, that's basically it, right? That's basically it. This method is uh, for organizing the ideas in a systematic way by using indentation, okay? Let's move on. Let me just one sec here. Let's move to the next slide. Okay, here we are. Now, can somebody else help me out read this, please? Alejandra Cabrera, can you help me out reading this slide? Please? Alejandra? Cabrera? Are you there? <laughs> Say hi to me, please. Uh, pardon, it's Alexandra. 
It's not Alejandra, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alexandra Cabrera. Yep. Hello. Alexandra. Yep. Hello. Hi. Yeah, we can listen to you. Hello. Can you can you help me out reading this slide, please? Alexandra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Maybe okay. Maybe it's a method that you use comprehension concept skills both in a not taking form which relates its fact or idea to every every other fact or idea. Maybe it's a graphic represent representation of the content of a lecture. Is a method that maximizes act, maximize active particip participation. Mm -hmm. A first in chronolet. I, I can see very well the the slide. Um, I'm gonna I'm help you out. Okay. My internet. Uh, can you see it now? Uh, <laughs> uh, Okay, Colonel, as to as to its understanding and emphasis, critical thinking. Critical thinking, very good. Thank you very much, uh, Alexandra. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is the mapping method, right? And as Alexandra was saying, the mapping method, in this method, we are going to use comprehension and concentration skills. Okay, comprehension and concentration skills. That is very important. Okay. Why? Because we are going to relate each fact or idea to every other fact or idea. So we are going to build up relationships. Okay. This idea is related to this idea. So I'm going to connect the ideas. That is the mapping method. Okay, and it is a graphic representation, it says. It's a graphic representation of the content or lecture. This method, it says that maximizes active participation and affords immediate knowledge, understanding, and emphasizes critical thinking. Why critical thinking? Because you are analyzing. You are connecting ideas. That's why you should use critical thinking, okay? Now, let me just move this right here to the right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna clear up everything so that you can see it in a better way. Okay. Take a look to this. This is the mapping method. It's like building up a, a map, okay? Okay, this is the mapping method right here. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, this is the mapping method. Now, the main topic here in this example is my map applications, right? So we're talking about applications. And, the, and then we connect to documents, information, evaluating, planning, communication, management, and thinking. Now, in documents, we are going to, to add summary, books, proposals, presentations, reports, and templates, okay? So that is how the idea is built up, okay? That is the way the idea is built up. Now, in information, we have recording, reviewing, recalling, extracting, management, and summarizing. Now, those are the categories that we have in inf inside information. Okay, this is the mapping method. This is very easy, and I'm very sure that you understand how this method is built up, right? Now, let's continue. 
let's continue here. Oops, sorry. Okay. Now, which are the advantages of the mapping method? It says, this format helps you to visualize, track your lecture, regardless of conditions. Now, you have a visual image or a visual representation, right? A graphic representation of the lecture. Now, a little thinking is needed. So you don't have to think a lot. You are just taking notes, right? And organizing categories. Relationships can easily be seen, okay? The relations between words are very easy to, uh, to, to write, to connect, okay? It is also easy to edit your notes by adding numbers. Now you can add numbers as well to make it more like explicit, okay? Explicit. Review will call for you to restructure thought processes, which will force you to check understanding, okay? So by having a mapping uh, way of organizing the ideas, I mean, it's going to be very easy for you to understand the topic. That is another way of taking notes. Now, the disadvantages. You may not hear changes in content from major points to facts. Now, the thing right here and the only disadvantage is that you don't, you cannot make a difference between major points, major points or facts. That's the only difference. That's the only disadvantage, I'm sorry. That there is no difference between major points or facts because everything, everything is included in the mapping method. Now, let's go to part, I'm sorry. Let's go to part. When to use it? Use when the lecture content is heavy and well organized, okay? When the lecture is well organized. May also be used effectively when you have a guest lecturer and have no idea how the lecture is going to be presented, right? So if you are going to listen to a lecturer, to a lecturer and you don't have, and you have no idea of what that person is going to be talking about, you can use the mapping method, okay? Organizing the ideas very fast without stopping. Now, here is the other method. This method is called the Cornell method, Cornell method. Now, uh, can somebody help me out with this line? Volunteers? Volunteers? Uh-huh. Volunteers, please. May I? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. The Cornell method. The Cornell method provides a systematic format for condensing and organizing notes without leverages recopying. Recopying. After writing the notes in the main space, use the left hand space to level each idea and detail with a keyword or cue. Uh, rule your paper with a two inch margin on the left, leaving a six inch area mm -hmm. on the right information the six and the six inch area when the instructor moves to a new point skip a few lines after class complete phrases and sentences as much as possible for every signif significant bit of information write a cue on the left margin thank you very much Jose Vargas you did an amazing Okay, 
So Jose was saying the corner method, this is a more organized method, right? Uh, why? Because, I mean, it says the corner method is systematic. Yeah, it's systematic. It's a systematic format. For what? Organizing nodes. Okay, it's a format that we use for organizing nodes. Um, it says that these nodes, we were going to have a main space, right? The main space that is obviously at the left hand space. Is the left hand space? So it means is this space right here. This is the main main space. This is space right here. Okay. Now to label each idea and details with. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the main space and this is the left hand space. This other right here. Left hand space. Now in this part here, the main space, we are going to write the main ideas. Okay, the main ideas. And in the left part, so in this part right here, we are going to write cus, right? Which are like uh this cus is are going to help us um to to remember or to know what we are talking about. Those cues are only uh like main words, only like one word or a phrase, right? To help us remind everything. Now, main idea right here and keyword right here. Now, and in this part, we can make a summary for reference when reviewing and receiving material. Now, let's suppose that I'm talking about the environment, right? And I'm saying, uh, Global warming, for example, in this part right here, I'm writing global warming is destroying the planet. Um, and there are a lot of, um, of problems in different countries because of global warming. And that is like the main idea, okay? Now, I'm going to write a word right here that, are going, that is going to help me remember what I wrote in this part, okay? So, and I'm going to write, for example, uh, problems with global warming, a phrase, and that's it, right? I write the phrase about what I wrote in this part, and that's it, I got, I got a lot. So I write, I, I have the information here, and I have the phrase right here. That's it. I add more information here and I have another word or phrase right here to help me out remember what I wrote in this part. That's it. That is the corner method. Now, and what are we going to use this method for? This method is going to be used. Let's see here. Okay, advantages. Which are the advantages for the corner method? Organized and systematic for recording and reviewing notes. So the notes are very organized. It's a very easy format for pulling out major concepts and ideas. So if you take notes using the corner method, it's going to be very easy for you to read the information. Simple and efficient and save time and effort. It is very simple and it's going to help you out save some time, okay? So basically it is a format of do it right in the first place system. So you go, if, you, if you use the corner method, you are doing everything right. You are not going to make any mistakes. Okay, let me just see here. Now, which are the disadvantages for the corner method? There are no disadvantages, okay? zero disadvantages with this method. And when to use in any lecture situation, you can use it whenever, 
Okay, whenever you have the opportunity to take notes, you can use the corner method. Now, this is the charting method, and this is the last one. This is the last method, okay? Um, let's see here. Can somebody else help me out with this slide? Uh, probably, 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 I'm gonna ask. Rocio Alvarado, can you help me out with this slide? Rocio, please. Rocio Alvarado. Okay. Thank you. If the lecture format in this stick, such as chronological, you may set up your paper by drawing columns and labeling appropriate heading in the table. Mm -hmm. Determine the categories to be covered in lecture, set up your paper in advantage by columns mm -hmm. by these categories as you listen to the lecture, record information, words, phrases, main ideas, mm -hmm. etc. into the appropriate category. Very good. Thank you very much, Rocio. Excellent. Okay. Now, so basically the charting method is a chart. You know, it's a chart in Spanish. It's una tabla. It's un it's una tabla, it's un cuadro, okay? It's a chart. Now, charting method is the format is says is is distinct, such as chronologically. Chronological, sorry. You may set up your paper by drawing columns. If you if you check right here, if you take a look right here, so we have this is the first column, second column, third column, fourth column, etc. Okay, now, uh, the term, determine the categories to be covered in, le in the lecture. So which are the categories? The categories are this, dates, war, countries, leaders, etc. Those are the categories, okay? Now, it says, set up your paper in advance by columns. These are the columns. All of these are the columns. Um, as you listen to the lecture, record, record the information, words, phrases, main ideas, etc., into the appropriate category, okay? So it means if I wrote in the first column that I date, I'm going to write down all the dates that I can listen to during the lecture. Okay, and if I write war, which is the second category, I'm writing the war, the World War II, and the Korean War, right? Countries, which countries were involved in the war? Germany, Japan, Great Britain, Russia, USA, France, Portland, etc. Okay, and in the Korean War, participated, the countries that participated were Korea, USA, and China, okay? Who were the leaders? And here I have the name of the leaders, okay? Leaders. And uh, well, basically that is the charting method. It's very simple, right? It's very easy to understand. Yes? Yes or no? Are you confused? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, now I'm going to jump to the next part. We're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of the charting method. Advantages, it helps you track the conversation and dialogues where you will normally be confused, right? So remember, if we are having a history class, you probably are going to, get, to be confused uh, trying to remember dates and events. So the charting method, it's a very, very uh, useful technique to, uh, to get this information easily, okay? To have this information in a very organized way so that we can understand it very easily, okay? So it says, 
reduces the amount of writing necessary. Yes, you are going to write less than usual. Provides easy review mechanism for votes. Memorizing, if you want to memorize something, the charting method is the idea for that. Facts and a study of comparisons and relationships, okay? So if we are making a comparison, if we are relating the topics, the charting method is the best, is the best. Now, disadvantages, few disadvantages, except for learning how to use the system and locating the appropriate categories, okay? The only difficulty that you can find when using the charting method is that you have to identify the categories, okay? If you identify the proper categories, you are done. Everything is going to be fine, okay? That is the only disadvantage. Now, when to use? Tests will focus on both facts and relationships. Contents are heavy and presented fast. You want to reduce the amount of time you spend editing and reviewing at test time. If you want to get an overview of the whole course on one big paper sequence. Now you can use the charting method. If you are going to study for a test, yeah, you are going to have the information well organized in the charting method. You can do it as well um, if you want to focus on facts and relationships, right? So, uh, and as well, if you want to save time, you can use the charting methods. Now I have here in this part, some links. This link, uh, if you read the information in this link, right? This one right here, you are going to understand a little bit more about the, the methods for note taking as well as this link. And in this link that I have right here, that is called the secrets of learning a new language, you are going to work, you are going to watch that video because you are going to do something. I will explain that to you just right now. Okay, here we are. Note taken with that. So this is the activity that you are going to, that you are going to um, send this week, for this week, okay? No taking with that. That is the name of the activity. Now, the instructions are, it says, after attending the conference, watch the video, The Secrets of Learning a New Language. Yeah? That is the first step. Um, I'm going to just show up this to you. It says here, in your notebook, they not using, remember this, it is going to be in your notebook, not in the computer, in your notebook, okay? You are going to take notes using the four methods. So how many methods are you are going to use? You are going to use the four methods, okay? The four of them. For note taking learning class, okay? Then you're going to take pictures of the notes you took and paste it in a Word document. Now, let me explain this part. So you are going to write down, you are going to take notes in your notebook, and then you are going to, with your cell phone, right? Take pictures of the notes, and then you are going to put those pictures in a Word document, right? You are going to order the information professionally. You are going to make a cover page and upload the document to the activity section on Canvas. This is due for Sunday, August 1st of this year. And it is the 10% of the first lap. Let me, let me just show something here. Just one moment. I'm gonna share the screen right here. I wanna show you uh, on Canvas. Let me just allow me just one second here.
just one moment. Uh, okay, here we are. One second. Okay, so yeah, can you just confirm if you can uh, see Canvas on your screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, this is your group. Just one sec, okay. This is week number two, right? And this is the activity section where you are going to upload the, the task, the homework. Now here are the note, here are the, the instructions, the directions for this activity. It says, watch the video, number one, watch the video, the secrets of learning a new language. Number two, in your notebook, take notes using the four methods for note-taking learning class. Number three, take pictures of the notes you took and paste them in a Word document in an order and professional way. Number four, make a cover page and upload the document to the activity section on Canvas. It's due for Sunday, August 1st at 11.55 p.m. Okay, uh, I don't know if you have any questions about the activity, something that is not clear. Hmm? Do you have questions about the activity? Can I send the activity in a PDF? Or yeah, not? no problem. I mean, you can do it in a Word document and then you can make it a PDF and that is no problem. It's good, okay? It's acceptable. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Another question about the activity? Remember, Remember that you are going to use the four methods. So it means, so I, I, um, I'm showing you that right here, okay? It says, you are going to use the four methods, the four of them, okay? It says right there, four methods. I have a question. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Uh, we can uh, can we use the the same note that um, we take on the on the video? I mean, um, well, if we watch the video, we take note. Uh -huh. We use for the four metal. The four the, methods. The same note. Ah, Maybe yeah. I in, mean, in, in Spanish. I mean, um. In Spanish, you mean? No. Lo puedo decir en español, la pregunta. Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah. do it. Ok. Las mismas notas que tomemos las vamos a utilizar para los cuatro métodos o tenemos que utilizar diferentes notas? You can use the same notes. I mean, because it's going to be the same video. But in some cases, the, those notes got to be different. Ok, got to be different. Let me let me show you something here, okay? Give me just one sec. Let me show you something here. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open the the video right here. Uh, let me just take a look here. What is the video? Okay, the secrets of learning a new language. It's right here. Okay. Here is the video, right? So you are going to start watching the video. You're going to start watching the video and you are going to start taking notes using, for example, the charting method, right? You take notes, you make categories, etc., And then you can start watching the video again and you are going to use, for example, the mapping method, okay? And you start taking notes using the mapping method. Then you start watching the video again, and you start taking notes using the corner method, and so on, right? I mean, basically the notes are going to be 
similar, almost the same because it's the same video, right? But remember that information is organized in a different way in each of the methods, right? So for example, probably in the charting method, you are going to have less information than in the mapping method. Yeah? Eso es lo que sucede. Y I'm, I'm gonna say this in Spanish, right? I'm gonna say it in Spanish. Lo que sucede es esto, que en el charting method, pueda que vos copies o tengas menos información que en el mapping method, porque en el mapping method incluís más cosas, incluís facts, incluís este, ideas, inclu, incluís más cosas en el mapping method. Entonces, lo ideal es como darle play al video y decir, bueno, ahorita voy a usar el mapping method y empezar con el mapping method. Luego, darle otra, ver el video otra vez y decir, bueno, ahorita voy a tomar notas utilizando el charting method y así sucesivamente. Eso, eso sería lo ideal. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Any other question, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, yo tenía una. Yeah, tell Pero me. Pero más acerca de la tarea. Es que quería saber si siempre nos vamos a estar conectando por Zoom o por Microsoft Teams. Es que mi hermana tuvo problemas para conectarse, no se pudo unir aquí por Zoom. Y otra compañera también. ¿Cuáles fueron los problemas que tuvieron? O sea, yo la envié a ella por medio del link, este, pero no, igual no se pudo conectar, no sé por qué. Um, Era porque tenían que descargar la aplicación. Si es en el teléfono, igual, tenían que descargar la aplicación. Igual, pero no se pudo. Si no se pudo. Mira, lo que pasa es de que lo, decidí hacerla por Zoom, por la situación de que a veces en Teams, y ya me había pasado antes, cuando entran algunos compañeros después, o sea, que entran tarde, cuando yo inicié ya la reunión, no sé por qué no les deja ver la pantalla. Entonces, por ese, por ese motivo decidí hacerlo a lo mejor en Zoom. Pero en, en el caso de estas dos personas que tuvieron problemas, lo que podemos hacer es lo siguiente. Dile que me escriban al WhatsApp, eh, que me digan cuál fue el tipo de problemas que tuvieron y vamos a ver aquí este, cómo, cómo lo podemos solventar, porque eso de, de, de loguearse en Zoom es algo que se puede solventar. Y, y es como más difícil estar teniendo el problema de que tengo que desconectar la meeting en Teams y volver a entrar para que los que acaban de entrar la puedan ver. Por eso mismo. Diles que me escriban y, y pues vamos a solucionar ese problema. Ok. Good. Any other question? Mm -hmm. Questions, questions. A la mayoría de ustedes creo que ya los conozco, por cierto. Hay algunos cuantos que no. There are some of you that que no los conozco, ¿verdad? Pero la mayoría, I guess yes. I know you. Uh, let's see here. ¿A quiénes, ¿A quiénes de los que están acá no les he dado este, clases? 